The Draeger Explorer 7300 powered air purifying respirator provides effective protection against hazardous dust and particles. Unlike masks and filters, the Draeger Explorer 7300 offers you significantly more comfort as it delivers the air directly to the user, providing effective particle protection without any breathing resistance. This powered air purifying respirator can be used in numerous applications due to a comprehensive program of headpieces. With an adjustable airflow and positive pressure, the various alternative headpieces provide secure respiratory protection even for people wearing glasses or beards. The use of the Draeger Explorer 7300 in combination with helmets, hoods, and visors makes the G26 medical examination obsolete. This video provides you with detailed information on the handling of the Draeger Explorer 7300 Power Air Purifying Respirator. It describes in detail the individual steps for use from preparation of the unit to cleaning and maintenance procedures. Each of the various components of the system are presented and explained in this video. First charge the rechargeable battery using the battery charger supplied. If the red light has extinguished and the green light illuminates, the rechargeable battery is fully charged. This takes 10 to 16 hours. Before use, assemble components of the Draeger Explorer 7300 and check their function. Slide the rechargeable battery over the guide braces onto the Draeger Explorer 7300 until the tab on the unit engages. To insert the filter, remove the filter cover of the unit with both hands. To do so, press at the center of the cover and simultaneously pull the cover outwards from the sides. Insert the filter. If required, an odor filter or pre-filter can be used for additional protection. This is positioned around the filter and attached using adhesive tape. Close the filter cover and press until it clicks back into place. Next, attach the carrying strap to the unit. To do so, alternately loop the belt straps through the tabs on the unit and the belt and finally attach it to the buckle. Tighten the strap well. Select the correct respiratory hose for the headpiece and application at hand. Depending upon the protection category desired, select a suitable headpiece and corresponding respiratory hose. The various protection categories result from the respective permissible leakage values. All helmets, visors, and hoods, with the exception of the long white hood, meet the requirements of protection category TH2. These units can be used up to a value of 20 times the limit value of a substance. The permitted leakage value in this protection category is 2%. The combination of Draeger Explorer 7300 and 7500 and the long white hood TH3 with the correspondingly configured respiratory hose TH3 can be used up to a value of 100 times the limit value of a substance. Here a leakage value of 0.2% is permitted. The combination of the powered air purifying respirators and a full face mask offers a protection of up to 500 times the limit value in accordance with device category TM3. A respiratory hose with standard thread is required for this purpose. The corresponding permitted leakage value is 0.05% with the unit switched on and 0.1% with the unit switched off. Attach the respiratory hose to the Draeger Explorer 7300. The arrows on the unit and the housing provide guidance to find the correct latching point for the bayonet closure. Finalize the closure with a slight right turn. Next, check the function of the unit. Turn the device on. The LEDs will briefly illuminate in red and then in green. You will also hear an acoustic sound. To check the airflow and the alarm, block the opened end of the respiratory hose with your hand and wait about 10 seconds. The unit starts running more intensively until the low flow alarm will be triggered and the LEDs will flash in red. 
To check the filter condition, hold the right arrow key pressed for about one second. The LEDs indicate the saturation of the respiratory filter. To check the condition of the rechargeable battery, hold the left arrow key pressed for one second. The LEDs indicate the charge state of the batteries. Next, switch the unit off. Don the belt. Adjust the belt such that it does not sit too close to the body and you can still move the unit. Use the straps to adjust. Attach the selected headpiece to the respiratory hose. The bayonet closure is inserted and turned right. This safety helmet with visor offers you a combination of respiratory and head protection and is thus versatile in its use. Adjust the safety helmet to your head size using the head size ring. Don the helmet. Adjust the face seal to your face by tightening the elastic strap. Turn the Draeger Explorer 7300 on. Via the arrow keys, the desired airflow can be adjusted between 140 and 210 liters per minute. The eight-stage adjustment changes the airflow in steps of 10 liters. After restarting the unit, it will automatically operate at the most recently selected stage. The operating duration of the rechargeable battery is between 6 and 15 hours, depending upon the selected airflow. Occasionally check the battery status by holding the left arrow key for about one second. The fewer LEDs which illuminate, the lower the charging state of the battery. You can also check the respiratory filter saturation during operation by holding the right arrow key press for about one second. The more LEDs which illuminate, the higher the saturation of the respiratory filter. The airflow of the unit remains constant regardless of the filter saturation or the battery charging status. The Draeger Explorer 7300 features a two-stage alarm. As soon as the respiratory airflow falls below the set limit and can no longer be compensated for by the fan unit, a warning sound is emitted and the LEDs illuminate in red. The fan unit reduces the respiratory airflow by one stage. This happens if the battery power is too low or the filter saturation is too high. When the lowest possible stage has been reached, a constant warning sound is emitted and the red LEDs flash. In this case, you must immediately leave the location. Always leave your workplace before removing the unit. Remove the helmet and switch off the unit. Detach the respiratory hose from the helmet. Remove the belt from your waist and then the hose from the unit. Remove the rechargeable battery from the unit. To do so, press the tab at the center of the battery slightly away from the unit and slide the battery with both thumbs down and out of the holder. Fully recharge the battery. The Draeger Explorer 7300 and the headpieces and hoses can be wiped clean with a moist cloth and soapy water. Please always carry out the cleaning in a well-ventilated room or outdoors. Whilst doing so, examine all components thoroughly for damage and, if necessary, replace them. Dry the unit thoroughly. Components in direct skin contact, such as the face seal of the headpieces, can be disinfected if required. For detergents and disinfectants recommended by Draeger, please see the instructions for use. No solvents may be used. To store the Draeger Explorer 7300, first remove the filter. The particle filter can be reused. However, the saturation should regularly be checked when saturated filters must be replaced. For further use, the filter must be stored airtight. 
Wipe any remaining dust or particles from the surface of the unit underneath the filter cover. And then seal it in a bag to protect it against dust. If all components are free from damage, the complete unit can be stored at 0 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius in a dry environment away from direct sunlight. The Draeger Explorer 7300 can be used with different hoods. Due to their light weight, these are very comfortable even if worn for extended periods and are particularly suited for people wearing glasses or beards. Their use is recommended if no other aspect for protection, for example certified head or eye protection, is required. Please note that the visors of the hoods are fitted with a sewn-in protective film that should be removed prior to use. The short hood with protection category TH2 is available in the colors gray and orange. The orange version should be chosen where a better visibility of the wearer is required. For this hood, the TH2 hose must be used. Adjust your individual head height using the Velcro strap. After donning, tighten the elastic strap under the chin. These long hoods with TH2 protection category are also available in gray and orange. They additionally protect the area of the hair and neck and are particularly suited for people wearing glasses and beards. For this hood, you should also use the TH2 hose. This combination protects you up to 20 times the limit value of a substance. For applications requiring a protection of category TH3, a long white TH3 hood is available. This hood must be used with the corresponding TH3 hose. For the long hoods, you also adjust the individual head height via the Velcro strap and tighten the strap under the chin. This combination protects you up to 100 times the limit value of a substance. To protect the visors against scratches or dirt, a peel-off visor can be used for all hoods. This, for example, is especially suited during paint applications. After use, remove the peel-off visor and disconnect the respiratory hose. All components can be cleaned with a mild detergent and disinfectant if required. For detergents and disinfectants recommended by Draeger, please see the instructions for use. If the hood is damaged, it must be disposed of in line with local regulations. An intact hood can be stored and reused after drying. The lightweight protective face shield in the Draeger Explorer series is a unique combination of respiratory protection and eye protection. The direct air path into the respiratory area creates a special wearing comfort and prevents the visor from fogging. A greater chemical resistance is offered by the version with an acetate visor. Together with the TH2 hose, this combination protects you up to 20 times the limit value of a substance. The visor can be adjusted individually to the head size. To adjust the head height, undo the top Velcro strap and adjust the plastic strap. The head width has to be present by adjusting the knob at the back of the head. After donning the visor and adjusting the face seal, the position can be readjusted if necessary. For protection against scratches, a peel-off visor can also be used with this visor. The grinding visor can be cleaned with a mild detergent and disinfected if required. Examine the components for damage. If damaged, the visor, the face seal, or the headband must be replaced.
Please read the instructions for use for more details. The welding visor in the Draeger Explorer series combines eye and face protection, according to EN175B, during welding with comfortable respiratory protection. Prior to use, the suitable welding glass must be selected or the suitable protection category must be set on the auto-darkening protection glass pane. Please see the instructions for use for further details. Insert the welding glass by opening the protection glass and releasing the retention spring from the flap. Insert the protection glass pane with the solar cells facing outwards. Next, allow the retention spring to snap back into the opening on the flap and close the flap. The welding visor can be individually adjusted for your head size. To adjust the head height, undo the top velcro strap and adjust the plastic strap. The head width has to be preset by adjusting the knob at the back of the head. After donning the visor and adjusting the face seal, the position can be readjusted if necessary. The welding visor can be cleaned with a mild detergent and disinfected if required. The visor and the plastic protection panes must be inspected for damage and contamination. The face seal or the headband can be replaced if necessary. Further details are included in the instructions for use. Especially in applications with high concentrations of harmful substances, the Draeger Explorer 6300 and 6500 full face masks provide reliable and comfortable protection in accordance with protection category TM3. Connect the full face mask with the appropriate respiratory hose with an RD40 connection. For a detailed description of the donning and use, as well as the cleaning and maintenance of Draeger full face masks, please read the instructions for use. For additional information on donning, use, and maintenance, please see the Draeger Explore 6000 series full face mask video. You can find this on our homepage, www.draeger.com. In applications with medium level concentrations of harmful substances, the Draeger Explore 4740 half masks provide reliable and comfortable protection in accordance with protection category TM2. Connect the half face mask with the appropriate respiratory hose with an RD40 connection. For a detailed description of the donning and use, as well as the cleaning and maintenance of Draeger half masks, Please read the instructions for use. For additional information on donning, use, and maintenance, please see the Draeger Explorer 4700 series half mask video. You can find this on our homepage, www.draeger.com. Alternatively to the Comfort Belt standard, the Comfort Belt Premium with extra wide padding on the back can also be used. When using helmets and visors, a lightweight Tyvek head protection hood can be used for additional protection of the head and neck area for individual hygiene or additional protection against dust and particles. The Draeger Explorer 7300 Power Air Purifying Respirator provides you with reliable respiratory protection in a multitude of application options.